Okay, so it is Friday and I'm currently looking for a question to answer. Like I said, I just wanna post a video every day. It's not necessarily gonna be this um, long video like I've been posting, but every day my goal is to post something for dysautonomia awareness. I said that weird, dysautonomia. Um, however, we are going on a trip soon and I didn't think about that. I don't know how the internet's gonna be. If it's good, I'll still post. If not, I'm just gonna have to continue when we come back. Um, okay. I, and I might post a couple video, like I might be wearing the same thing in a couple videos because I'm going to pre-record just in case I can post. Maybe I can organize it that I can like schedule the post. I don't know, we'll see. Um, okay, here's a good one. I just lost it. Um, okay, what are your thoughts on the Spoonie community? Um, and the Spoonie community, I should make a video explaining what the spoon theory is, but I'll just say the chronic illness community for now. My thoughts are it's very good um, for the most part. I met a lot of people on different POTS groups um, that you know I consider to be friends now, and it's nice because they understand what you're going through and you know, it's just somebody to talk to. I know some people don't like posting and talking about their problems basically, which I completely understand, but at the same time, I feel like these groups are a good place when you feel like you're all alone. But, and I've told Greg a couple times that I'm glad that I can just go online and talk to people if I have some symptom that's kind of freaking me out that I can go and see if anybody else has experienced it. Um, and I get like reassurance that it's okay and that it's normal and stuff like that. But at the same time, it makes me kind of sad because it's like everybody else is dealing with this too. Like even when I have bad doctor appointments, I post about it and usually there's somebody that's like, oh, that happened to me too. Or they tell me something that happened with them and it's like, it's comforting, but it's also like, it's kind of depressing at times because it's like we're all in this little, um, we're in the same situation and it's a bad situation sometimes, but it's also nice to have that. I mean, it's not depressing to have that. It's just depressing to realize that so many people go through what you go through. But that's also kind of the comforting part in a weird way, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, Facebook groups are my like um, big area to go. Um, I haven't had too many problems with anybody really um, as far as like in the health community. Well, there were a couple people in different groups my battery is dying but they just the thing that bothers me is when other people who are dealing with the same thing question other people's sickness it's like you know what it's like why are you doing this you know so i've encountered that a few times but for the most part i enjoy it and i'm trying to expand that and um find more people on youtube that are dealing with the same thing which i'm stumbling across you know a decent amount of people who have dysautonomia that make YouTube videos. So, um, yeah, so far it's been, so yeah, I have mostly good things to say about <laughs> the chronic illness community. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to be my uh, question for today. If you watch this, um, no matter what kind of chronic illness you have, if it's POTS or dysautonomia, like a form of dysautonomia, something else, um, where do you find your support online? Do you have support online? Um, I kind of want to get like a conversation going on these videos if anybody watches them. So keeping them short is also good in that sense. So let me know what your online support system is like if you have one. And that's it. I will see you in the next video.